because I could not be more excited to welcome this next act to the stage. I have had the pleasure of meeting him a few times, but I have not yet yet to see him perform. He is new to comedy. Guess what he came from before? Wrestling! I know! It's going to be the greatest. Let him know how excited you are to see him. Welcome to the stage. Travis Wedding, everybody! You know, people hear me speak for the first time, question always the same. Brother, how much do you smoke, man? How much fucking whiskey do you drink, brother? The fuck's going on? You sound like shit here. The fact of the matter is, I don't do any of that. Like Katie said, I was a pro wrestler. 16 years, daddy. And in the year 2000, I was in a match, I got hit in the throat, and I got injured. It was an accident. But for three days, I couldn't speak at all. I was fucking panic-stricken. I was 29 years old. I thought, oh my God, do you mean to tell me in the prime of my life, 29 years old, and I'm gonna have to talk with one of these? Good luck getting laid. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Could I have your phone number? Thank you, 8675309. I'll call you tomorrow. You know, I gotta tell you, I was doing that joke a month ago in Campbell River, and it fucking backfired huge. Because wouldn't you know it, there was a guy in the crowd, and he had one of these. And he stood up, and he said, hey, asshole. You think you're funny? Why don't you meet me in the parking lot? What? He wanted to fight me. I could, and guys, look, I'm new at this, okay? And I was so caught up in the moment that I kept fucking doing it. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just doing a comedy show. Now the fucking guy's curious. I get this. He waited for me after the show. Waited for me. I'm walking to my car. There he is. Says, all right, tough guy. Now it's just you and me. I said, oh my God. But you, you got to understand. We're in Campbell River, okay? Now this guy, he's really fucking old, okay? And he's really, really drunk, right? So I, I, I kicked the living fuck out of him. This guy was so many rights, he was fucking begging for a laugh. Please stop. Somebody help me. I said, fuck you. I said, and that will be the last time you ever fucking heckle me. And it was. It was. I see the guy now. Couldn't be nicer. Hello, sir. How are you? You're a very funny comedian. Your last set was hilarious. We're friends, for Christ's sakes. All's well that ends well, right? We became buddies. You know what else ended well? My voice! My voice came back. I went to speech therapy. They taught me to talk through my diaphragm, right? And you know where my voice helped me the most, ironically? Wrestling, for Christ's sakes. It all but made my wrestling career. I mean, could you imagine if I shuffled out and said, uh, hello, everybody. I'm Lady's Choice, and uh, I have a I have a tan, and uh, I think if I see your wife later, she she might like me. I hope. <laughs> Does that go over? That didn't fucking go over at all. Not even a little bit. But I'll leave you with this. Let's see if I can get it over any better if I use my wrestling voice. All right. Let's just see. Brother, I'm the man with the plan and the golden tan. You're listening to the voice of the lady's choice. And sorry about your wife, dude, but it kind of went something like this. She offered her honor, and I honored her offer. And all through the night, I was honoring offer. And I don't like to toot my own horn, daddy, but the sex was so good, the neighbors had a cigarette. <laughs> Enjoy!